Hello and welcome to another session of Brick Therapy. Today we're looking at set 70412. This is the Soldier's Fort. This is a set that was released in 2015 for around $30. Today a new one will set you back somewhere around $136. This set comes with 234 pieces and 5 minifigures. Let's look at the box. On the front we see the Soldier's Fort with all the minifigures that are included. It shows a firing cannon. At the top we see the 5 minifigures that are included. You have Governor Hacienda and his daughter and then this figure is referred to as the pirate gunner. On the back we see set 70413. That's the brick bounty that we'll be reviewing in an upcoming video. We also see the play features which is a firing cannon as a winching system. It looks like it has another small shooting cannon and a jail cell that looks like it breaks away. I also believe that this connects to the post also to create a bigger set. All right let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside we have the instruction manual and three numbered bags. All right, let's take 60 seconds to put it together and we'll come back and talk about it. All right, here it is, the Soldier's Fort. Let's take a look at the minifigs first. First, we have Governor Hacienda. This is the first time we are seeing him and his torso in this theme. His head and bicorn hat is a first for the theme also. In back, his torso has a very intricate design. Next, we have the Governor's daughter. Wikipedia does not give her a name. Her torso and legs are unique to this set. She does not have any printing on the back of her head, and she also has a very intricate design on the back of her torso. Unlike some of the other female figures we saw in the 2019 release, she actually has the minifigure legs that are posable. The Imperial Soldier is common and we've seen his likes before. Although this head is only used for this soldier, the rest of the build is typical Imperial blue coat. Then we have the Pirate Gunner. His torso is only found with this set, but the head is used in multiple pirates. And similar to what we saw with the Governor and his daughter, he has a very intricate design on the back. So very nice. Then the last of the five minifigures is a common pirate. You've seen him before, there's nothing special. Now let's take a look at the so-called fort. Starting at the pier, we have a firing cannon and we have a connector to connect this set to the soldier's outpost. Then moving in towards the pier, we have the only two animals in the set, which are little tree frogs. Then connected to the main structure, we have the winch and crane. It's odd to me that the winch's wheel is coming out of the side where none of the minifigures can reach. This feature is more for play than realism. The crane is in a good position for picking up items from either a small boat that's docked here or, or to this little pier. Then moving to the tallest structure, we have a stud firing gun or cannon. The size makes sense for getting ammunition and the gun up and down from this position. Similar to what we saw in the vintage pirate sets, there are no ladders or stairs to help the minifigs get up to the upper levels. On the second floor, we have this room that comes with a barrel and a pickaxe. And then we come to the most perplexing section of the build. We have what seems to be a holding cell. In front we have the cell door. On the inner side we have the cell bars. And on the outside we have a breakaway play feature to help prisoners get out. Or you could just ask the prisoner to walk out because there's no back wall holding them in. I think LEGO missed out on an opportunity to just maybe use even one to four bricks to close this in. I'm not going to take it apart now but to close it in so that it's a full cell. The last thing we have is the pirate's boat that comes with a firing gun itself similar to the one we see at the top of the roof. In summary I would compare this set to set 6275 Lagoon Lockup. We have the same play features and they both have the same starting price of 
$30. Granted, in 1991, the $30 was equal to about $52 in 2015 money. So here I have it connected to set 70410, the soldier's outpost. I don't like this configuration because it puts both of the large cannons on the same side of the fort. I wish they put this cannon up to the roof here or maybe on the other side of the large building and that way it leaves this one open to defending this side. I'm still partial to the vintage blue coats. If you grew up with this set as a child, let me know how you like it compared to the vintage Imperial Soldier sets. I hope you enjoyed my review of LEGO set 70412 Soldier's Fort. Thank you for spending time with me. I will see you at the next Brick Therapy session. Take care.